President Obama is in Poland this morning, winding up his Four Nations six-day visit to Europe. This morning, he'll meet with Polish leaders. CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Chip Reed is traveling with the president and joins us now from Warsaw, the capital. Chip, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Russ. Among the issues on the agenda here in Poland are missile defense and helping Poland develop their massive deposits of natural gas. The president also went out of his way to assure not just Poland, but all of the nations of Eastern and Central Europe that they are important U.S. allies. We have taken great inspiration from the blossoming of freedom and economic growth in this region. Uh, and we're confident uh, that we'll continue and we want to be a part uh, of that process of uh, strengthening uh, your democracies, strengthening uh, your economies, uh, and be a full partner. President Obama's remarks came at a dinner in Warsaw for Eastern and Central European leaders. The president began his visit here with a wreath-laying ceremony at Poland's Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, where he met with elderly veterans who fought Nazi Germany in World War II. The next stop was the Monument to the Ghetto Heroes, a memorial honoring the thousands of Polish Jews killed in the 1943 uprising against the occupying Nazis. Today, President Obama holds meetings with Polish leaders at the presidential palace. One person he won't be seeing is former Polish president Lech Wałęsa. The founder of the Solidarity Movement, which is credited with ending communism here, says the timing isn't right and he doesn't want to be seen as a photo op prop. The president returns to the White House later today. He'll spend only one night at the White House, then he's off to Joplin, Missouri, where he'll attend a memorial service and meet with the families of the victims of that horrible tornado. Russ? Chip, the president, of course, has spent some time on this trip talking about the Arab Spring, a reference to the democratic uprisings in the Middle East and Northern Africa. What message is he trying to get across to the European people? Well, he... He spent quite a bit of time here in Poland talking about the Arab Spring. Uh, he said that Poland is a wonderful example for the people of those Arab countries because Poland, of course, rose up. The people rose up and cast off a dictator. Russ? All right, Chip Reid in Warsaw. Safe travels home. Thanks a lot, Trip.